Two hours north of Bangkok is the charming city of Lopuri. But what I'm here for is the monkeys. Right before I get attacked. So much fun. Now for a little crab. <laughs> They're really cute. You can feel it here. Oh my gosh. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Two hours north of Bangkok is the charming city of Lopuri. Lopuri used to be part of the kingdom of Ayutthaya. You can still see the Khmer influences with the architecture and ruins around here. Which is why they remind us of the ones at Angkor Wat. Some of these are over a thousand years old. Lopuri's rich and storied history stretches all the way back to settlements during the Bronze Age over 3,500 years ago. According to local records, the city of Lopuri was founded by King Kalavarnadishraj in the year 648 CE or Common Era and was originally named Lavo. Around the 10th or 11th century, Lopuri became part of the Khmer Empire of Angkor. The Khmer influence is evident in the city's art and architecture to this day, with the most notable example being the Pra Sam Yad Three Spired Sanctuary. Lopuri went into decline following King Narai's reign, which ended in 1688. Many of the grand buildings from the Ayutthaya period fell into disrepair. Today, these ruins are what make Lopuri such a significant historical site. Modern Lopuri is a bustling town that manages to retain its historical charm. But what I'm here for is the monkeys. In recent years, the town has become much more famous for its resonant population of thousands of monkeys. In Thailand, the monkeys are sacred because when Lord Rama's wife was kidnapped, the monkey king brought her back. This story is masterfully detailed in the Hindu epic, the Ramayana. And in 1989, this town decided to honor the monkeys and to bring tourism in and started this monkey festival. Because what could go wrong with a plan allowing thousands of mischievous primates to infest the place you live? Four times a day during this festival, they feed the monkeys. We're about to see how much and where it is because there's not a lot of information on it. I believe this is where they're setting up the food. We're gonna pay our 50 baht a piece and go check it out. Looks promising this way. This is freaky, but at the same time, this is a lot of fun. We're hoping they're all full enough that uh, they won't really care about us. It kind of looks to be the case. It's really funny. They don't seem to be interested in us at all. They have enough food. We'll, we'll see how this holds out. This is a adorable. And I like that they're not really caring about me. They're more cared about the food. Wow, that music's loud. Normally this many monkeys would be a uh, cause for us to go another direction. But this is pretty cool. The monkeys really don't care about the people at all. I want to know how you got her to do that. <laughs> I hate talking on those things. You never get her to talk. And she, she pops up on Reuters. She worked together. I know, I just Lord, that was three, fantastic. Three takes. Three takes. So okay, 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 here we go. The gentleman just walked past me and said, Hey, would you like to be on television? And I sell to the BBC. And I said, Oh, dear Lord, I'm terrible on there because I can never think of anything to say. It did take two takes. 
because I kept creeping up. He said, no, put it back down. <laughs> so it was fun. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> and for my Oregon peeps, you'll appreciate that right back there is a family of Huskies. But since we're out of the country, we were nice, even though it is officially Husky Hate Week. It's funny they don't jump up and grab more plants. Katie's getting brave. She's going to feed. Oh, he's very polite. That was nice. He just wanted the bananas. It's like, no, I get bananas, you get squash. Mangoes are always the most popular. Locals who are running this thing really keep the monkeys behaving themselves. When they fight, they break it up. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. There's definitely plenty for everyone. It's great how close you can get without getting attacked. It's amazing. It's right, right, right before I get attacked. Some are just content to sit and watch while others must come and frolic. Seems as it goes on, they just move the feeding point around kind of back and forth to keep the monkeys spread out. First feeding is definitely the way to go. Yeah, because I have a feeling by the fourth feeding, these monkeys are gonna care less. <laughs> it's also gonna be about 95 degrees instead of 85 degrees. So it's perfect right now. This is far exceeded my expectations. So much fun. Got here a couple days early. The monkeys were kind of aggressive. I was afraid that they'd be really aggressive during this, but they weren't. They were totally interested in food. Get your hotel room at least six months in advance because they book up fast. And the place we stayed was great. We'll put the info in. Now that the monkeys have had their feast, it's time for us to rustle up some grub. Thankfully, there is no shortage of carts loaded with deep fried goodness just down from the train station. I got deep fried crab and onions. This is the onion. Ooh, crunchy, got a little bit sweet. Spicy. These are really good. Delicious. Now for a little crab. <laughs> They're really cute. Ooh, really crunchy. Ooh. What sauce is that? Barbecue and cheese. Barbecue and cheese. Good combination. Okay. So far, the, the crabs are my favorite. Barely crunchy with a little bit of meat in the middle. These are good. And all of this was 80 baht, like $3. Everything. Apparently that break happens at night. <laughs> this is really cool. Because it really hurt. <laughs> this goes on for miles. It's 
Time for us to head back to Bangkok to begin our next adventure. Lopuri was way more than we expected. Sometimes more than we bargained for. So many monkeys. What a great experience. The history here was actually probably my favorite. Katie loved the monkeys most. Uh, we've recently heard that they are going to be removing slash relocating a significant portion of the monkey population because it has gotten a bit overbearing for the townspeople. That's probably a good thing. We would definitely recommend taking a weekend to go up and catch the monkey festival it was a unique experience and just another thing we love about thailand so until next week take her easy keep drinking this coffee <laughs> Leave the thumbs,